So this week, we're going to look at the role of business in the ethical city. And we're going to take as a starting point rights, human rights if you like, and rights to the city. So we are familiar with the idea of human rights to water, to shelter, perhaps to food and energy. Um, these rights are being reframed in the 21st century and we've now got to start thinking about rights to sustainable energy, rights to public transport and mobility, rights, I guess, to sustainable work. So what's the role of business in providing for these new rights in the ethical city? Well, the businesses that do retool, rethink and innovate uh, in providing sustainable energy, water and affordable housing will be those businesses that are sustainable into the future. So let's take the example of affordable housing here in Melbourne. Melbourne is a rapidly growing city. It's a successful city and it's widely known as a livable city. But that comes with its own problems. As the population grows, so there is a need for more and more housing. And housing currently is being developed on the fringe, some 50 kilometres from here. Um, and so people that are taking up that housing are living further and further from the city and the places they need to be. There's also, of course, this type of housing here, these apartments that are growing in the middle of the city. And the occupants of these housing, um, I guess they face different challenges. Um, the size and scale of the housing and the question as to whether it's fit for purpose for future households. So what do we need in places like Melbourne? We need new businesses to come in, or existing businesses, to innovate in new ways uh, to develop new, decent, affordable forms of housing for all of the citizens here. This might mean thinking about new tenures, new designs, new forms of delivery, um, and new forms of, of, of development. In the next few examples uh, 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 during this week, we're going to look at concepts like the triple bottom line um, and, and also examples of, of new forms of design and delivery of housing in Melbourne.